Hey, party people, it's Megan. Let's talk. I want to tell you about this dream I had last night while I'm thinking about it. So I was in my parents' room in the dream, and I have come to realize that when I am in their room in my dreams, it's showing me that I am in God's presence, like I'm sitting there with him. Um, two very significant things happened. So actually, um, I saw this email where this person was basically trying to... Um, I don't want to say like tell on me, but like complain. And like, it was like a really long email. It was like three paragraphs and I was reading it like, really? And so, um, my boss ends up asking me about it in the dream. And I was like, um, sister girl is like making stuff up, you know, which still goes back to false accusations. And my boss believed me. Right. And I was thankful for that in the dream. But then when I told the girl, like I saw the email, she tried to deny it. And it was like, sis, you can't deny it, which goes back to the receipts. Like, like how I, are you going to deny it? I saw it, you know. And I'm also going to point out that this is the same individual who was in the um, closet in one of my dream videos I made over a year ago about God rewarding us. Like he had took us up to heaven. And well, we knew it was in the mansion of heaven. And he was like, you can have whatever you wanted. And we knew like once we got back down to earth, like what we had asked for, what was up there was going to be down there. It was the same individual who's in the closet. And I had told y'all the haters are in the closet. And I just spoke on that because that person was decaying in the closet. It was that same person. And so she actually, she wanted to use my friend's help. They were, um, they ended up coming in. I, I can't really say friend. I don't even know how to describe this to y'all, but it was a man helping me um, in the dream. And he was basically telling me, like, be cool. He saw the email. I had actually lifted it up. And he was like, so what you going to do about that? And he was just telling me to be cool. And God tells me to be cool all the time. And she wanted his help. And we were like, no, he wasn't going to help her because she was plotting against me or whatever, right? So that was interesting as well. Like, no, see. So even to me just saying that, um, he definitely wasn't listening to her or answering nothing that she wanted because, again, she was plotting against me, which goes back to the touch not my anointed, bring my prophet no harm, right? So we know that's happening in this time. Um, so I prayed against that, right? Like whatever the enemy is up to trying to do through that person, like I prayed against it and I prayed that God's children, you know, in my workplace would be sensitive to his spirit and discern like what had happened in my dream, like they believed me because why would I lie? Like your character speaks for itself. And so um, that's important. So pray, okay? Like we have these dreams so we know what to target in prayer, okay? Okay, and so the last thing is, so that's happening on the computer screen. Then on the TV in my mom and them room, me and him was watching that, me and the man, and we were just paying attention to what was okay, happening. Okay, so on let TV. me interject real quick. The man that was in the room with me, um, he actually passed away this year. And that kind of shook me when I woke up. But um, in the dream, he was like a graphic designer. And so that's what I needed his help with. And um, that's what she wanted his help with. And he was like, no, nah, we're not going to do that. Like, he wasn't going to help her. He was cool, real calm. Um, so we turn our attention to the TV. And it's another girl who I don't know. And two people... I don't know. I can't tell y'all what show this was. Like, I ain't never seen none of this in my life. But the girl basically was telling the two people, like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to work for you anymore. And the two people were very upset. Like, the look on their face, they was like shook. Like, how dare you decide not to help us anymore? I now know that they were demons, right? And the girl was coming out of agreement with them, which is what people should be doing, turning around and repenting, not attacking God's children and still expecting God to help them. Telling them, like, I'm not doing this anymore. And they were basically trying to steal the man I was with. So then they got real confused. And I was like, wait, we know the people on the TV? Like, how, what is going on? They were trying to steal, like, his work. And I was like, what? Like... And she told them basically, like, if you want what he's been working on, what he's doing, you're going to have to go to a lawyer and get it the right way. You're going to have to do it the legal way. And what? Like, and we know that the devil and the demons and stuff, they have, um, you know, like, illegal access to us spiritually. But we come into agreement with them via different ways. And that's how they have access to stuff. It's illegal rights that he has to us. And so... um she told them that, like, you're going to have to go through a lawyer. I remember that. Like, you're going to have to go through a lawyer. Like, I'm not helping you steal nothing else from him. Like, you're going to have to go through a lawyer and do it the right way. And they were so upset, like, because they weren't about to do that. Again, they were demons, okay? So, I don't know who needs all and of this. Really. walked down these steps. Like, it kind of looked like some steps you would see in New York. Again, like, I'm watching a TV in a dream, like, 
who are these people? <laughs> and she walked down those steps, matter of factly, confidently, like I'm done doing business with y'all. So shout out to everybody who is coming out of these agreements, repenting, all that, because that's what we all have to do, okay? And she was like, I'm not doing it anymore. But good luck, though. Need to go see a lawyer and walked away. And I was like, yes, go you. And it was just showing me like uh, the people's faces and they were so upset. But then um, back to the man, he was very creative. He was actually working on the computer the whole time that all this was going on. And we were talking and I was looking at him do the work. Like, I'm saying graphic designer. He was very creative. And we know that God is very creative. Like, he is the creative, okay? So, I just pray the Holy Spirit reveals what you needed through me sharing my dream. And um, just a reminder that, again, vindication is here. Like, we in we in court. We in trial. She said, you're going to have to go get a lawyer. Try again. No, okay? And even that other girl that he was showing me, me and like, he was showing me based off of, like, my own life and people I know and stuff in the first part of the dream, it was like, they had absolutely no remorse, no, um, like she didn't care. Like she tried to deny it. And I was like, but I saw it. Like, what are you talking about? That goes back to the receipts. Okay. But then still in that same breath was trying to get help from the man. And he was like, I know what you was just trying to do to Megan. Like what? And, um, also since we're here, the word recompense has been falling in my spirit so heavily. Okay. And that's getting, uh, reimbursed. That's getting pay back what um you lost right recompense go google it if you need to because we need to know what these words means mean but it's not just that we're getting back more than that like the enemy tried to run off of some of our stuff and we're getting it back we're getting that back and then some okay so recompense i love y'all it's just the season like that's what we're that's what's happening right now so y'all be blessed see you in the next one